to make a bogo offer on the cheapest item so buy one get one and the discount to be applied on the cheapest uh, item um, well of course it will not be on the same product because the cheapest item if it's the same product uh, it's gonna be the same <laughs> but uh, you need to first to create a smart deal and you click your new deal or there and you can click on BOGO discount pairs so you will buy any pair of two identical product one of them will be discounted by a hundred percent or fifty percent it really depends uh, if, if it's buy one get one free or buy one get one fifty percent off so let's say it's going to be fifty percent a hundred percent and you can also consider a pair of different products mix and match uh, so the identical pairs will be prioritized but um, mix and match will group uh, one being the most expensive and two being the cheapest if there are many many products in the cart and it will discount the cheapest by default if you click here you could also discount the most expensive product instead of the cheapest uh, again if this will happen if let's say there there are 10 products in the cart uh, six of them are pairs so three pairs of two and the four remaining ones are you know different products so two of them will be discounted and the two of them will be the cheapest it's a bit risky when you do that uh, when it's a hundred percent discount so I would not recommend that uh, but uh, let's say you do it a 50% discount then it, it makes more sense um, you can also apply the discount for multiple quantities meaning like uh, let's say you have 10 units of the same products uh, is the 50% applying on one or on five of them uh, so this is also uh, the setting so then you select the products or the collection uh, like this and um, you can also set a card requirement uh, logically it will be for example if uh, these or this product or this collection is present in the cart or it could be if the cart is bigger uh, the card amount or quantity is bigger than uh, let's say two uh, so this I mean it's it's important but uh, it's the most important will be the next step when we create the rule that will trigger the application of, of this smart deal because the smart deal itself cannot be manually entered and Shopify's checkout uh, field because um, you know our script is not running on the checkout page so it needs to be entered uh, it needs to be run uh, with the promotion rule and to be applied automatically via this rule so there are other settings right there but once you're done you create uh, you click back so this uh, this one is uh, MBV so you need to at least remember the first letter if you have a lot and then you go to automatic and you create a new promotion you click on use a smart deal and uh, BV MBV yeah so oh, oh, oh. So this is the deal that I want to use. There's um, some additional restrictions that are inside the smart deal, but what is important now is the triggering condition. So when do you want to trigger the application of this smart deal? When do you want or app to fire and you know try to apply this smart deal? So then you have a lot of stuff that you can choose from. Most popular ones are turtle cart or a number of items, but it could also be based on customer tag or other uh, stuff like that and you can also restrict to some collections and products once you're done doing this you can name it uh, you can test it or you can active and you click save then you will be able to test in your store you first need to match the rule the trigger triggering condition either one or multiple and then it will apply the smart deal it will also check the additional restriction being what is the restrictions inside the smart deal itself so this is how you can do a buy one get one and you can discount the cheapest item in the cart.